All right, guys, we are here at Hopedale Marina, formerly Bruttonstein Marina, and today I'm going to show you how it is I get around the rock dam. And uh, we're going to take, hey kitty cat, we're going to take the fastest route I know of to get there, uh, even though that, even though there is more way, more ways than one. So let's go ahead and get moving. As you come out of Hopedale Marina, if you're not super familiar with uh, the location, just come out the marina, take a left, and you're just gonna go across a very long no-wake zone. So just to expedite this, what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fast forward the the camera, fast forward the footage, so we just get there quicker. For you, anyway, not really for me. As you do come out, uh, know that these gray poles off to the right are marking a channel that's made for the kayakers that come out here and fish. So be courteous of them and don't pull a weight past them. Up here on the left, you'll see this big, uh, this big houseboat. It's called the uh, Dogwood Lodge, if I recall correctly. And, Usually, once you get past this, you're good to get on plane. Just keep an eye out for kayakers that are off to the right-hand side. All right, we're past the dogwood. Let's go ahead and get on plane. Yeah, baby. I feel the need for speed. Right here, this is the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, also referred to as the Mr. Go. So off to my right hand side is the Rag Dam. The left side, you go that way towards Campos, towards Shell Beach. The kayaker off to my right is a good distance away. So just punch across and just know that when the wind blows really hard, like out of the north, northwest, it can be a little bumpy right here. As soon as you get across to the other side, boom, you're in by La Lutra. You're able to get protected and get out of the wind a little bit. As you head down by La Lutra, uh, I know this seems obvious, but I just gotta say it. Just look out for crab traps. Make a good point of looking behind here every once in a while, making sure someone faster than you isn't sneaking up behind you. Just good to know. And also, when you run this, you really wanna stay more towards the middle, especially when the water's low, just because the banks are a little shallower. 
It's a really shallow, slopey bank. That end, you can see these oak trees that are growing off the left-hand side. It's something that were used to exist on the right-hand side. They're dead now. But these oak trees are a good example. As the bank erodes away, they fall down in the water. Then over years, they kind of erode away to the point where they're underneath the, they're under the surface of the water. You can't really see them anymore. So if you get right on the bank and run it, like you're burning the banks for, for redfish or something, um, you're going to hit a stump. And that's not any good. So stay away from the banks whenever you go to pass another boat or if you're just feeling froggy or whatever. and ease your way into this because uh, some of us call this the crash intersection because it's a big blind corner and people can't really see and sometimes they fly around the corner or fly across and they collide into another boat. So you kind of want to stop, look and listen and see if anybody else is coming and make sure the coast is clear before making that turn. Also, this turn right here, there's a stump right there off that point, so you don't want to hug that point too close if you do take this turn while on plane. All right, so we're going to take a ride into what's called Baker's Canal. Now, there's two ways that you can go across here. You can take Brady Lagoon or uh, Little Half Moon Bay. Little Half Moon Bay to Half Moon Bay. And then you connect to the same body of water as you would take, as you would get to a, a take in Brady Lagoon, but Brady Lagoon is just shorter. The problem with Brady Lagoon is that when the water is low, it can be a little tricky to navigate. Because it gets really shallow in there, but I've watched uh, Boogie, the, the guy that gets bait for Brent Sound Marina, or rather Hotel Marina, I've watched him get across it during a really, really low tide. So if you take your ride into Brady Lagoon, 
you'll see that they have all these poles going down the middle of it. As long as you stay to the left of them, you'll be in the channel. You also want to hammer down on that throttle, trim up, and don't come off plane. You're looking for the mouth of this little body right here. And the poles lead you right to it. And then boom, we're in this little bayou, we're here. At this point in time, it's a series of turns, so if you're not familiar coming through here, especially seeing how tight some of these turns are, you probably ought to slow down and just take your time. You got two options to get into the Mississippi River Go Fountain, aka the Mr. Go. You can take uh, what is uh, essentially old by Pisana. You can take a left here and that'll get you in there, or you can go straight. And I'm going to go straight because I'm going to the south side of the Rock Dam. So it's just. Uh, a faster route to go in that direction but if you were headed out towards like uh breton sound the mr go long rocks then you would want to take that left back there a 
there's a baby boat coming, make room for them. What's up, man? Tell y'all what, bay boats are awesome. I fished out of a whole bunch of them, used to own one. And uh, I'll probably own another one again sometime in the future because they have their utility. But I really like sitting down in this bass boat. Good Lord, do I. Yeah, wind's blowing really hard today, so I figured I'd make this video. You know, get something good at it today. Not that it's been a bad day. And uh, I like jigging deep water. I like jigging the rock dam. Um, there's a lot of fish here that I think don't bite conventionally. And uh, I think you can get them unconventionally. So I'm gonna try that. gonna come off plane right here. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's how you get around the rock dam. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them up below. I don't mind talking fishing. After that, all I got to say is that if you are watching this on YouTube, please consider subscribing and uh, visit my website sometime, lafishblog.com. I got more goodies for you there. Thanks for watching.